Hey everybody, Shadow Zach here, doing a little quick little tutorial video, showing you how to uh, dump and create your own uh, custom texture files in the uh, Dark Souls using the new DS Fix uh, 1.2. First, you need to enable the texture dumping, so we need to go to our Dark Souls install folder, open up the Dark Souls or DSFix.ini, and look for the uh, section that says uh, enable texture dumping. And, uh, change that to one but leave the uh, enable texture override to zero for now because we don't have any textures to enable or force yet now let's uh, load up the game as you can see it's already starting to dump the textures here nice little lot of textures going on So let's go ahead and uh, load up a game and uh, just run around for a bit on a couple different maps so you get a nice little uh, large amount of textures to work with and replace. As you can see it's kind of choppy here because it's streaming all the textures to the hard drive while I'm recording this uh, footage here. So after you've collected a, a good amount of textures, go ahead and uh, save and quit. And we'll go and open up uh, Adobe Photoshop to uh, create an action script file. So we can uh, batch, uh, batch filter all the textures that we want to do instead of doing it one by one. So what you need to do is go up to the window, make sure you have the actions uh, window on or enable and then go over to the actions little toolbar here and create a uh, little folder thing create a new set and type in what you want to call it and then you need to click the little page icon thing and create a, uh, a new set or a new action type in the name hit record and then you can go and do all the uh, filtering effects you want to do to the texture for this one, I'm going to use the uh, Vibrance and uh, Oil Filter, but you can do whatever you want. Go ahead and hit the little Stop Record button, and then go over to uh, File, Automate, and then uh, create a droplet. Now this is what we're going to use to uh, batch filter files. So choose your uh, destination the top then choose your output folder and then uh, I click on the suppress file options dialog and suppress color profile warning dialogs so you don't have any pop-ups then hit OK then you select a couple hundred uh, files at a time and uh, drag and drop them onto the little droplet and then let that go for a while as it batch filters all of the textures and once that's done you need to navigate to the new folder where you had all the uh, new textures saved at and then you need to uh, use a program to batch convert those TGA files into a PNG files because that's what the uh, Force texture override is going to use is the PNGs, not the TGAs. I use a program called Action View because it's free and it does exactly what I need to do. Basically, I navigate to the folder where all the new textures are, the Control A, and go to right click and go to Batch Processing. Uh, then I choose an output folder, which uh, should be different than the folder itself that I'm in, or else the uh, naming for the files will get messed up. 
and select PNG and let that go. Then once that's done, you need to grab the new files, the new PNG files, and move them to the uh, text uh, underscore override folder in the DX fix mod file or folder in Dark Souls install location. Then once you got that, and you go back to your uh, INI file and uh, disable the dumping and turn on the override. That way you don't have to keep uh, editing the same files over and over when you go to filter. <coughs> then save it and then launch Dark Souls. And as you can see, Dark Souls Oil Filter Edition. Load up the game and then uh, look around at all the pretty filters or pretty textures. There you go. Have fun and enjoy.